Recently, we started working on what we call the Holiday Cabin Project. Our goal as a team was to create a cozy cabin render for a client. In this video, we'll be diving into the design process behind a dark wood material, figuring out what parameters to expose, and some tips and tricks that you can apply to your next material. Before we get started, if you're interested in the step-by-step -step tutorial of how this material was made, you can head on over to watch the full video link in the description below. First, let's analyze the references that we have. The goal here is to create some painted wooden planks for the exterior of the cabin. Based on that info, we can now run a quick Google search in order to narrow down what type of wood to use. After browsing through some sites, we've got three choices. Cedar, Redwood, and Cypress. Since it's going to be painted black anyway, I decided to go with Cedar because of how neutral it looks. Because the planned shots are going to be from a distance, that means we don't really need to put too much work into making it look as detailed as possible when up close. Based on that, we can list down all the parameters that the material needs to have. We're gonna want to have control over the paint color, number of planks, having bolts or not, the size of the bolts, normal control, and roughness control. With that out of the way, we can now dive into Designer for a general overview of the material and some tips and tricks. Here we have a material. We start off by creating our wood pattern, and that leads us to tip number one, and that's to try and keep your procedural maps huddled up somewhere. I've found that having them in one place like this can help cut down on nodes and makes it easier to reuse nodes further down the graph. For tip number two, take advantage of the different ways to organize your graph. A cool thing that you can do to make your connections a bit easier to read is to alt left click the connection and tie some of them together so you can see where they lead to more clearly. Another one is using frames. Just select your nodes, press spacebar, and click on frame. It just makes it easier to keep track of what you're working on. Another thing you can do is to dock your nodes. Go to a node that you want to dock and press D. Tip number 3. Use the base material node. When you make a new graph, it's already got some nodes connected to give you a gray material. Replacing those with a material node, however, can not only give you some parameters to play with, but it also makes it easier to prototype what you have so far. You can just connect maps as you go along until you're finished with the material. And that's it! In the step-by-step -step tutorial for this material, we'll be going over making the base wooden planks, using the pixel processor to change the direction of the wood, creating basic functions, and more. <laughs> 